Hi friends, welcome again to this week's segment of Catholic Experience with Mr. MJ and Co. Today, we're going to look at testimony associated with the Sacred Heart Badge. Indeed, the Sacred Heart Badge owes its origin to St. Margaret Mary Alaco. Furthermore, the popularity of the badge increased during a plaque at Marseille, France in 1720. At that period, the people of Marseille constructed an image with a picture of the Sacred Heart of Jesus and a write-up written boldly, Cease for the heart of Jesus is with me. When we come back, I will introduce to you our guest who will share a testimony connected to the Sacred Heart Badge. Stay connected to GGN. Welcome back. Let's meet our guest. My name is Mrs. Lillian Patenu Sokao. I worship at St. Augustine's Catholic Church, Iba Estate. I belong to the Apostleship of Prayer, League of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, Lagos Archdiocese. Now, the testimony I'm about to share with you is about the Sacred Heart Badge. Now, one of the beautiful Wednesdays, I was heading to the office. I boarded a vehicle that was going to Iyanova. I noticed in the vehicle that I had, there were more men than women. Than, than women. It was a smaller bus. Somehow, they started arguing. They said, no, 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 this woman, yes, we will take her to, just, just turn, just turn. I was like, why are you turning? Something in me said, just be calm. It's like you have boarded the wrong bus. I decided not to struggle with them. I followed them. They turned and took me all the way. The one at the back was trying to do some incantations. Maybe I was supposed to fall asleep, but I wasn't asleep. I was wide awake. They took me down to Ikotu. On the way, the vehicle stopped twice. They had to push along the way. They were like, this woman, whether we should leave her, we should take her. I didn't quarrel, I didn't struggle. I had this confidence, because each time I go with my badge, I'm always very, very confident. It's like another protector. So I, was, I wasn't sleepy, I wasn't feeling dizzy, I was myself. When they took me to Ikotu, somehow the vehicle moved and we started our journey. When we got to Ikotu, it's not an uncompleted building, but it's a rocky area. It's, I think it's an outskirts. That was when it dawned on me that I was actually kidnapped. When we got into the building, it was scanty, it was smelly. They took me to one room. They told the, they gave one of the guys instructions. Of course, he was supposed to either maim me, remove my hands. They are kidnappers. It was obvious. When the guy wanted to approach me, something overwhelmed me and I was like, I told him boldly, don't you fear me? I am consecrated to the sacred heart of Jesus. Are you not afraid of this badge? I am consecrated to the sacred heart of Jesus. I was actually speaking with so much strength. The guy was like, ah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He was apologizing. I was like, okay, well, I'm sorry. At a space of seconds, he fell asleep. I didn't mean he was sleeping. He was dozing, as in he was snoring. I looked around. I was like, where do I go from here? Then I heard footsteps. They actually went and brought a chief priest. He had this oil on his hand with a very big cross inside the bottle. I was wondering, how did that get inside there? He looked at me and he found his guys that were supposed to perform one ritual or the other. They were sleeping soundly. The ones he came in with have already joined the ones that he left behind to sleep. He started prophesying. He says, I'm going to be that. I'm going to be this. You're going to be a, a, a landlady. You're going to be... I was like, amen. Amen. Something overwhelmed the room. Something like a fire. The room was... They were all... The man was uncomfortable. 
what he did was he woke up the guys that were supposed to perform the whatever on me the, the ones that kidnapped me because he was not among those that came with me he woke them up and he said where did you bring this woman from they were murmuring they were now said take her i don't care take her go and keep her where you brought her from and he was sounding a note of warning to them he said give them give her transport make sure you give her transport the guys took me they were amazed they were like oh yeah oh madam oh yeah oh yeah your wallet is too much oh yeah oh yeah i picked up my my bag they didn't remove anything my phone was with me i was safe i was sound they took me rocky rocky areas on foot the next thing i found myself i was at a gondo express they gave me a transport i looked at it i said it's not going to be enough they gave me an extra one i boarded a vehicle and i got back home that is the power of the secret heart badge each time you leave home make sure you have your badge on you if you're if you're lucky to be consecrated to the sacred heart of jesus because i call those that those that are consecrated i call them lucky yes i call them lucky like myself i am a one lucky woman you see this badge i wear it and i wear it except when i'm sleeping very soon i will even start wearing when i'm sleeping so i endure everyone consecrate your families consecrate yourself to the sacred heart of jesus and always wear your badge thank you so much the greater glory network for giving me an opportunity to share my testimony. Thank you so much. Keep doing a good job. And for all the people out there, please subscribe to GGN. They are doing a great job. God bless you all. Thank you so much. Sacred Heart of Jesus, thank you, don't call. Hope you learned something. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Greater Glory Network. Sacred Heart Blessings all the way.